Hi, Gloria Leibecker here with Healing You. Have you ever felt intense emotions? I have. And it's really important, hmm, if we haven't ever had anyone to accompany us with intense emotions, what's really important to know is it's possible to develop um, not just a tolerance for them, but also to be able to welcome them and to recognize energetically what they are meaning for us and what are the gifts that they're bringing to our awareness rather than trying to push them away or smush them down. They'll just get bigger when we do that. I was working with someone who was feeling very intense emotions. They would have intense anger or they would, then it would flip into really intense sadness. And their experience was when these intense emotions came, it always made their life more difficult, made everything get worse, and they always felt they were made wrong. So there was no sense of welcoming for their intense emotions. So their intense emotions got even more intense. That can burn us out. That can be really tough on our nervous system. We're just pumping this cortisol and adrenaline constantly, and it's exhausting. While we were working together, this person was able to unpack the contract that was underneath this. As a little one, they noticed that if they felt worried or scared of being left alone, that then that intensity would come. And they also just recognized that if they didn't talk uh, when they didn't feel good, or if they would say, I'm fine. I'm feeling good. They could sidestep this intensity or they would at least not be made wrong. So what they said is they would, they swore to their essential self that they would, anytime they could feel worried or scared, they would shut down their emotions. They would shut down that anger. When we shut down our anger, we're actually shutting down all of our emotional circuitry. And so, um, but they said whenever they felt worried or scared that they're going to be left alone, then they would not talk and they would lie and say that they felt good in order to avoid making everything worse with intensity and being made wrong and being left alone, no matter the cost to themselves or to those that they loved. As they sat with that and they could feel where that was within their being, there was just an acknowledgement of how long this had been running within them. And as we turned to their essential self, there was this um, heart of compassion that rose up within them. And they, they told them they didn't like that vow and they were going to revoke that contract. And they were given a blessing to courageously be willing to express honestly, to cry and to cry loud when they need to, to be open and express and to allow themselves to be held with care by others. Hmm. And after they received the blessing, they had this experience of feeling so much more present. Their head felt open instead of heavy. Their energy was moving from their head all the way down into their body, which felt open and confident with a sense of ease. And what's really cool is then they felt like their eyes were wider. They could see more of life. So we brought in a fine mist of warm water that just washed all over them, just cleansing and healing and any residues of energies that were not life-serving. And they could feel the life energy just tingling all the way down to their toes. Hmm. There's something really beautiful about taking these parts of intensity and then getting to discover and witness the beauty of the gift that's awaiting inside. Oh. 
accompaniment is so important for all of us. We were created for relationships. If you're needing some accompaniment in your life, reach out to me at HealingYouSanctuary.com. I look forward to welcoming you. Thank you for being on this journey with me today. Healing You.